Tonight's episode of Stewie's Corner is proudly brought to you by Palmer United Party. Wellity, wellity, wellity. It's that time of the week where I look into my corner and wonder what on earth I'm doing with my life. I think I'll be doing a lot more wondering as well when I look at today's specimen, the Sky Eye, promising 72 games. Um, not sure how well the camera is picking it up, but this packaging has yellowed severely. I don't mind telling you, I am a little bit hesitant to actually open this up for fear of releasing some sort of demon that's trapped within for the last couple of decades. So if anything really bad happens, sorry guys, I was just trying to make a joke on a YouTube video. Anyway, let's have a look here. Um, plug and play TV game, no need transformer, just use battery. Sorry Optimus Prime. We can cope without you. All-in-one video game system, built-in games. The modest design for playing the games. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's a real modest shape, but anyway. If we have a look on the back, more text. Key functions. Button on off switch turns it on and off as a switch. Oh, I'm glad they cleared that one up then. D-pad, scroll up and down. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad someone's making sense of these buttons. have stumped me for years. Oh, hello. You can see the uh, country origin jersey in the background there. I hope Donald Trump's watching. He likes the country, apparently. Isn't that right, Donald Trump? I love the country. And now back to reality. Uh, button, club, heart, spade, and diamond. In general, for shoot, jump, kick, punch, drop, run, accelerate, decelerate, which are based on the different games and different functions. So, in other words... The buttons on the console operate the game. They've really done wonders here, you know, clarifying everything. Good on them. Button one play, two play. Put on one play for game is just with one player. Some games are with two players function, then one player finish the game's play, then switch to two play for second player's playing. Alright, yeah, I think I've got that. Well, um... Yeah, I think we're in for a world of fun. <laughs> ah, yes. Anyway, it's in this horrible packaging. As I've said, it's aged a lot, so it's probably going to be a little bit weaker and maybe a tad easier to get into. Good thing I always come prepared. Behold what was in the ancient packaging. Before we actually look at the console, just one more note on said packaging. I like how they've put the screenshots for the game in places that you wouldn't actually look or possibly even see in the shop. You know, most people will put them on the back or maybe, you know, there, but not this mob. Anyway, don't need the packaging anymore because we've got the console. Let's have a look at it. It feels not too bad, actually, in the head. Surprisingly comfortable. Uh, D-pad is very similar to the DVD player D-pad, actually. It's just sort of hovering there, although it also clicks in. Hmm. Select start, there's your buttons. Now, I'm pretty sure diamonds and hearts are the same colour as our spades and clubs. Hmm. Uh, reset, one player, two play switch to confuse everyone around you, and an analog stick. Ooh. But it's just a D-pad and doesn't feel like it feels very stiff so yeah I'll probably be sticking to the d-pad I'm guessing there's your on off switch and great nice to see some warnings in a language I cannot understand let's see if you plug it into the television your television will probably melt all over your couch oh what I do for comedy I will award this 10 points though for not having a battery cover that requires a Phillips head screwdriver to get into four double A's go in there and the fun begins. It also came with a sheet of instructions in A4 manuscript in surprisingly good English actually. There didn't seem to be any faults with this, although one thing that did catch my eye is apparently DC is worthy of a caution. I'm not sure if that means that the creators of this were Marvel fans or anything, but oh well. Um, since there are 72 games on this, I'm not going to go through them. Instead, I'll pick five numbers at random and show you them right now. Very simple tune. Go one player, thanks. Alright, we can be China, Japan... 
Macau, I'm not sure what that one would be, Korea, Iran or Iraq, Saudi Arabia and Thailand. Will be the one I'm, I don't know, hey, we'll go cow. Skill level 1, half time 15, probably won't play it that long will I? Alright, where am I? I'm, I don't know who I am actually. I'm the, okay, yeah, okay, I'm the guy with the one on his head. Very slowly dribbling the ball around the field. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, I'm about to shoot for goal here. Puts the boot in. Oh, how good's that? Alessandro Del Piero's got nothing on my 8-bit skills. Looks like they were all trying to fly away there. <sighs> oh, here we go again. This guy's making no effort to get the ball from me. He's just running with me to the goal square. And I'll put it in. Oh, it's 2 nil. Let's have another weird celebration. The crowd's starting to scare me, though. Yeah, all right, we'll leave it there. We'll uh, invoke the mercy rule, eh? 2-0. Uh, cow defeated whoever my opponents were. All right, game three, pick a man. Okay, are we going to have a Pokemon clone? I'm yet to review one of those. No, but it is a Mario clone. Frog Prince, at least I'm guessing it's a Mario clone. Let's go. Yep, it's a Mario clone. But he cannot jump for the life of him. Okay, now there's something phenomenally wrong with this game. I cannot actually... You, you have got to be kidding me. Oh wait, no, there is a, there's a high jump. Okay. So I was pushing the other button and I was doing a small jump and for a minute I thought this would have been the worst clone ever. Okay, now we're playing as some really hip 90s dude. Oh wow. Alright, so these clearly aren't pipes, they're hedges. Do I still go down them? Yep. Well, they've even nicked the sound effects. Except here. The coins. Okay, coins are fine. We'll, we'll change the coin sounds, but this one. Yeah, we'll just nick that. I will say, most Mario clones I've played have, you know, just stolen the same sprites or the same backgrounds. And all. At least I've made an effort to change more or less everything, minus the hills. No victory fanfare, just one note. I really do feel that the uh, music composer for this game could have tried a little bit harder. Alright, let's have a look at the underground level then. Ooh, actually, the thoughts just occurred. I wonder what Bowser's going to be like. Oh, come on, we're nearly here. We're going to see what our villain's going to be. The villain that breathes black fire. It's fucking Bowser! You've changed every other sprite, but you've kept Bowser and just given him a different coat of paint. Jeez, lads, make the effort. Alright, where's Toad? No, it's just some guy in a hood. Thank you, Prince! But our princess is in another castle. Ah, good. They've kept the classic line. And this is where we'll leave the adventures of Frog Prince forever. Cont Energy. Okay, I don't know. No comment. 1996 presents. Oh, good. I've never seen a year give us a game. 996 reminds me of um PlayStation. Okay, Tiny Tune, Tiny Tunes. I remember this, but. Bugs wasn't really... He made cameos, but he wasn't the main character. Alright, game start. Thanks. This is clearly a copyright infringement. This is, um... Oh, hang on. I've seen this, um... If you're watching this YouTube video, then surely you would have heard of the Angry Video Game Nerd. He's done a, a review on this game. Um... There doesn't seem to be any jump button. This is horrible. It's just, um, blind luck by the looks of it. 
Okay, you can only go into the doors that have the steps on them. Right, eh? And... No, nah, dead. Oh, that was awful. Oh, the nerds covered it better than me. I'll leave that for him. Right, I've gone into this page from game 49 onwards. I think there is a pattern here. Hmm. I don't think this has 72 individual games on it. Just a thought. Alright, we'll go Conti Energy 7. Thanks. Oh no, please don't let it be that Tiny Toon Adventures. It is! Why have you duplicated this one of all the games? Has anything changed? Uh, yeah, okay, we're in a different level. Brilliant. Just changing the level doesn't mean that you've got a new game. Ah, uh, bugger it. Next. Alright, what's Devil World? Devil World's twin cards, apparently. Mm, yeah, this naming's really starting to annoy me now. Stage one. Uh, oh, the binoculars from Toy Story are here. God, why can't I escape Toy Story? It seems to be in every review I do now, and it's not my from my uh, choosing either. I can't select anything here. I can just move. The binoculars seem to be getting very bored. I'm sorry, I can't pushing buttons. Oh wait, hang on. Got something. Ah, oh, it's just memory. All right, let's. I swear I just saw Pikachu run by. Yep, there he is. That's Pikachu. Alright, I did ask for a Pokemon clone, but not in a memory match game. Oh, hang on, did I see a boat? Yep, there we go. House. House. Alright, what happens when I win a level? Oh, I think I... Did I beat the clock? I didn't know I was on the clock. I guess I, either I didn't, or that's all the game offers. Either way, I'm not impressed, and I'm not going to try again. Alrighty, what's number seven then? Snowfield Chief. I swear that was the Duck Hunt theme, but just slightly changed. Oh god, I'm right, this is Duck Hunt. Duck hunt on a controller without a light gun. At least there's no bloody dog. Oh, what am I supposed to... Okay, well, okay, I can pause the game. No, unpause, thanks. Of course he's flown away. I don't have a gun, do I? Well, this is insanity. They've given you a light gun game, but no light gun. Nor is there any input on the controller to actually have a light gun feature. Wow, that's a waste. Although I am curious, what's their clay shooting? Hmm... You're shooting jars. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. That concludes testing for today. Yes, uh, what did I make of this machine? Overall, not bad would be my official verdict. Go over the, uh, the not quite so good points. Uh, firstly, it doesn't have 72 games as the box promised. It's only got about 30 or 40 and then a whole lot of level selects for um, What is it? Crazy castles of all games. So yeah, I'm taking a few points off it for that and In fact that it had a version of Duck Hunt on here, but with no way to actually play it. So Minus another few points there. On the plus side, it was very comfortable to actually hold in the hands. I mean when you compare it to what I looked at last week, the uh, Pac-Man one with its very pointy corners, the smooth surfaces here were rather nice and it's got little grooves here for your fingers too. That and the D-pad, not too bad actually, it has to be said. I uh, rather enjoyed using that. Uh, the whole two-player thing was confusing, I never got around to looking at that and I don't think I ever will either because you know, I like my brain you know, before it melts. Um, yeah, I paid $10 for this plus I think $5 postage so it's cheap too, so another good idea for a gift. I'd rather like that, might even keep it, so there you go. 
Alright, I've got no way to end this, so here's a photo of me meeting the fat controller. <laughs>